Good morning, everybody. It is 8, 11 a.m. on Saturday, August 20th, 2022. Uh, hold on, let me fix this a little bit. Is that better? No. Is that better? Yes. All right. We're switching up the format a little bit here because I don't feel well. I've been sick the past few days and it doesn't look like it's going to be, I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, I have po post COVID-19 syndrome and I usually feel better because when I relapse, I'm an addict. Uh, I don't feel the symptoms of the post COVID-19 syndrome. So I've been taking the last few days off definitely intentionally because I've been trying, I've been trying since I've been on this medication, since, since I've been on naltrexone, which I have to get out of the refrigerator. Hold on a moment, please. I apologize if I'm not in the greatest mood. I, this stuff, the post COVID-19 syndrome gives me muscle aches all over my body, makes me, gives me a lot of brain fog so I can't think right, and uh, gives me, um, what's the other thing, annoyance. There we go. It's kind of, that's kind of ironic, right? I'm sitting here getting annoyed over annoying. Anyways, <laughs> so, um, so anyway, so we're switching it up, making it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna spend most of my day on the couch today. So we're starting a little bit earlier in part so I can get the prayer over with, but I think it's gonna take longer than it usually does because I'm just gonna chill, I'm gonna eat, we're gonna, you know what I mean? I'm gonna just, we're gonna pray and everything. So it's gonna take probably longer than it would if I were like in there rushing it and stuff like that, not feeling well, but it's a little bit more relaxed, you know what I mean? So, um, so I, I just actually made some hard boiled eggs. So I'm gonna have some of these, we're gonna start out with that. For these and all his mercies, God's holy name be blessed and praised through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Some nice hard boiled eggs. With some, with some, I have some pepper and some um, salt here to enjoy them with. Very, very grateful. I'm grateful to have a place to, 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 to you know, to, to, to be sick, honestly, because like living on the street, man, I can't even imagine this. Well, I'd be high all the time on the street, so I probably, like, you know, kind of like I, I have been here a bit, but I, so I wouldn't feel it and I'd be all right, but like, but you know, still, you know, I've been praying the Lord give me a little bit of a, of a rest from, from, even though I knew I'd feel worse, that it'd give me a, a break from drugs so I could just, you know, see if this medication is helping at all, and it, it really isn't. Um, and that's not good, but... I don't like that little, that little set. Well, I don't want to say sack because that doesn't sound good. But you know what I mean? That little like sack that envelops the. <laughs> that doesn't sound good now at all. That envelops the egg, you know. That you take off that little. I don't. Is that a placenta? I don't know. But I have no idea. I don't know. Maybe. All right. Anyway. Hmm. I wonder if this is one of the older eggs, because I had one egg that was like old. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it looks all right. Mm. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, because it's a two-hander. 
They should have a thing that's like a grinder like where you squeeze it. it somehow, it, they probably have that, I bet. And it, and it, cr and it crushes the pepper. Let's see. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, thank you, Lord. That's so good. I wanted to also pray out here today because it is such a beautiful day out. And it feels more relaxing here. Maybe that's my work room, you know? Uh, this is my living room. But I don't spend much time in here, except honestly, like when I'm when I'm feeling sick, it's when I, I come out here a little bit more to watch television, which is right there, obviously, because I'm on the couch and the walls behind me. So, all right, let's see. Egg number two. Do you have a doopy doopy do? I slept all last night. I, um, I've been craving sweets. I ate a lot of ice cream yesterday. I ate um, a bunch of candy that I got over at Walgreens. Um, I also ate, thankfully, I, had a, I, I defrosted some bread and had a sandwich yesterday, two sandwiches. I'm trying to eat, I'm trying to like balance out the sweet cravings with like, you know what I mean? So. Get a little bit of salt here. There we go. A little bit of this. Salt, pepper. I got some coffee here in my French press. My mood though is so much better than it was yesterday. I mean like when I was on camera yesterday, I was mostly sleeping or just doing something to eat or something like that. I tried to watch TV, I kept falling asleep and it was uncomfortable because I kept waking up. Um, I kept waking up and like, it like kept, like the TV kept jarring me awake and it was like really, really upsetting. You know what I'm really, really embarrassed about? I'll, I just, I'm gonna be honest about this. It's like right after, just in case Mo's, Mo's Gingrich sees this stuff. I was like right after the day, I was like, hey Mo's, how you doing? I'm all in a good mood and then, boom, it hit the next day and then I feel like shit and then I'm being a dickhead. Um, but you know what? Here's the thing, is that th that's just really what happened, you know? And I have to, I accept that. Um, that may make a bad impression, I'm sorry if it does, I, you know? But I can only be, you know, I'm, first of all, I'm proud of me. I love people and I treat people well. And I think highly of most people. Uh, unless they give me a reason not to. And um, so I feel like I'm okay, you know? Um, I don't apologize for what I said. Remember when I, about two days ago, when I was like, fuck you, fuck you, get out of here, da da da, because if you don't like it, because that's true. No. You know what I mean? I don't apologize, apologize for that. What I'm, what I was trying to basically say there in so many words 
was that so many people out there though, even though there's a lot of great people out there, there are too many people that I believe put too much emphasis on, you know, the niceties of things without having their heart in the right place. You know what I mean? They will like, oh, that's terrible that he prays that, you know what I mean? But while they are busy doing stuff, or busy placing emphasis on, you know, making sure that they speak those names nicely, but in their heart, inwardly, are ravenous wolves, you know what I mean? So that's what I was getting at that day. All right, oh wow, this is kind of tough to... Sometimes though, you know what I don't like about eggs too? Some of you ever get that like, you go to burp though after you've eaten some eggs and it has that, that rotten egg kind of taste in you? Oh, I got that a couple times when I was homeless and it was terrible. One time it stayed with me for like a week Terrible. I felt like I was going to throw up every time I burped because of, because of the, the, the taste and the smell. So I'm just glad to be having a little bit better of a day today. I'm still, trust me, I'm still like I was yesterday, but like for some reason I'm getting a little bit of a reprieve day this morning. You know, and I'm glad that when you're, when you're not feeling well, it's important to take it easy on yourself, you know? And that's why I wanted to come out here today and, and, and do this video like this. Kind of change it up a little bit change my feeling toward it a little bit and relax. All right, there we go. So this is the third egg. I probably will eat more off camera, but I don't want to take up too, too much time. To, let's see. Mm. These are still warm from the, the water. of the sack is still in there, that's why though. All right, anyway. Okay, let's pour some coffee. This is my third cup of coffee. Because before this, I was not like, couldn't even talk. Some people might think like, well, before my third cup of coffee, I can't talk either. No, this is like really, really bad. It really, really, I'm gonna have one more egg. Um, I can't even describe it. I can describe it probably better when I'm not feeling it. Hold on a moment, okay? We'll be right back. I didn't grab my napkin. Hold on. I'll be right back. Oh. You know what I was just thinking about? Probably would be nasty as hell. And because it, it made me think of a Reese's peanut butter egg. I was like, what if you put peanut butter on an egg? Like, what it would taste like?
I don't know. I'm not, I'm not that adventurous right now. I wonder if it would taste, you know what I mean? I can see how it might taste, it might be surprising, you know? But, like, I don't want to get grossed out right now the way I feel, you know? Oh, boy. I've never been sick like this in my life. Like, I've been, I've felt worse than I do at this moment before, but I've never been sick for this long. It is such a long time. This has been over a year, going on like two years. Honestly, I thank God I'm a drug addict right now because I wouldn't have normal days if I wasn't a drug addict. When I do meth, these symptoms just go away, like in seconds. And when I get, now it takes about, it takes about two to three days for the symptoms to fully return once I've stopped doing meth. Um, but like right now, I'll tell you what, last night I tried to meet up with a friend of mine, you know, and I'm glad it didn't work out. As soon as it didn't work out, like, I was like, okay, and then I just put my phone on, on, um, do not disturb, because I did, I, I just, you know what I mean, because, like, you can't help, when you feel like this, you sort of can't help, like, but do something to try to relieve it, you know? on occasion, but as soon as it didn't, I was like, okay, good, you know, and then I didn't want to, because I sort of want to, like, let this ride out a while, and see, because it's been a while since I have, it's been a long while, since I've had, like, two weeks of just killing the symptoms, and I sort of want to do that again, to see where I'm at. One more egg. One more. <laughs> I need some protein anyway. So I'm gonna spend my day today here on the couch with a beautiful day, beautiful view. For those of you that don't know my apartment, right behind the camera right now is my balcony. The entire wall is the balcony. And I just have a beautiful view of, the, of oh, wow. If you can see, it looks like a painting right now. It's like a postcard. Wow. I took a picture of the the eggs after this after they uh, just before I boiled them, and I sent a picture to my friend Ruben, and I said, "Mira." Ruben mira mis huevos. Now, for those of you that don't know, that don't know Spanish, in in English we might say like "suck my balls," right? Like like that's like you know slang, right? Um, in Spanish though, it's a different idiom. You know what I mean? Like they don't use the word balls in Spanish; they use the term eggs, and they don't use the term "suck." It's "chu." Chivas mis huevos is what you would say in Spanish. So anyway, so I just so as I was about to, my friend Ruben, I uh, sent him that picture, and I was like, "Get out, mis huevos." He, I'm trying to, I'm trying to speak more Spanish, because um, I, I, I picked up a lot, you know, just from being in California. 
since I was 18, but I don't speak it, you know what I mean? And I, I God, it's still like my dream to speak more Spanish, so I'm trying to do, or even write it, you know? Um, so I'm trying to do more of that, even if it's, even if it's silly stuff. So you don't find this in a Christian prayer video, do you? No. And it's not because it's unchristian. It's because just a lot of people are not comfortable with themselves. You know what I mean? I know I don't mean anybody any. So what's wrong with saying it? What's wrong with, you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with just what I just said at all. There's nothing wrong with that. No. What messes me up are gets me a little irritated sometimes is that people will you know they got no problem saying it out in the world but then you know they come into church oh you can't you can't do that but they'll go out and say it you know what I mean like even people that think that they're all righteous and stuff like that it's just it's you have to harmonize here you have to harmonize okay so this is my last egg for sure at least on camera There have been a couple of days, not for a while now, where I ate a whole dozen. I mean, I boiled, I mean, I ate like a whole dozen, like in a day or two. Especially with deviled eggs, which I call Christed eggs. Change it up a little bit. Because um, those are so good, man. Those uh, deviled eggs are great. I want to say something else too, because I'm still thinking of the Amish a little bit. There are some people that now the Amish Amish position on well, if I may take a part of it, because I'm sure there's there's a lot of what I do that the Amish would have problems with, and I don't have a problem with that honestly. It's a totally different thing. I completely understand where they're coming from, and and you know, and I would not I I do not I have no negative feelings toward that at all. It's, it's hypocrisy that bothers me. You know, I don't see any hypocrisy in, in the Amish opposing like what I do. I mean, you know what I mean? Cause like in their way of looking at things that there's a consistency there and I get that and I accept, it's not, it's not people that disagree with me that I have a problem with at all. Not at all. Cause there's different ways to approach things and I, I appreciate that, I accept that. Nicotine pack. I think that's all I got to say, actually, about that. You know? That's pretty much it. You know, so. One thing that's difficult about being true to yourself sometimes is that sometimes people you love and care about may not see things the way that you do. And that is, that is difficult. How about we do, now we'll pray, okay? It's an English day today. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. 
Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to get one more egg. I'm hungry. And they're so good. I also wanted to say that during that Angelus, that, that you know, part where I bow there, yesterday on camera was so painful and I took a couple of yes last night I took a couple of uh, Tylenol and I took some again this morning and, and uh, usually I write those down in my medication log but I you know I've been feeling so bad I can't do it just I couldn't brush my teeth yesterday I did brush my teeth last night and floss but I didn't use mouthwash I, you'll see that in the log there when we do that this morning so we're gonna brush this morning um, Yeah, I just wanted to mention that. So, and we're going, like I said, we're going a little bit more casual than usual today. I gotta take it easy because we gotta get all this stuff done. And I don't feel so great. Number five. Mira Ruben. Que pasa tanto? Did you ever see the movie? Harry and Tonto is one of my favorites. I mentioned it. Every now and then. I mentioned it all, actually a lot off video. I can't remember if I mentioned it on video though, but, or when the last time was. I'm sure I have mentioned it on video. Himalayan chef. I mentioned the other day the digital piano I've had since I was 16. There she is. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Wait. Hold on. Oh, okay, so I wrote it down wrong the other day. 
to start with Psalm 71 today. Whoa. Deus in auditorium is the insipid of Psalm 70. I did not, I didn't, that didn't click until today, which is the opening of, uh, evening, uh, of, of Vespers. Okay, so we, we're going to pray Psalm 71, 72. And that's it. 71 and 72, two psalms, ready? On your mark, get set, and go. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my craig and my stronghold. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb, you have been my strength. My praise shall be always of you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me off in my old age. Do not forsake me when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say God has forsaken him. Go after him and seize him, because there is none who will save. O God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O my God. Let those who set themselves against me be put to shame and be disgraced. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But I shall always wait in patience and shall praise you more and more. My mouth shall recount your mighty acts and saving deeds all day long. Though I cannot know the number of them, I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O oh God, you have taught me since I was young. To this day I tell of your wonderful works. And to this day I tell of your wonderful works. And now that I am old and gray-headed, not quite yet, O oh God, do not forsake me till I make known your strength to this generation and your power to all who are to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. You have done great things. Who is like you, O God? You have showed me great troubles and adversities. But you will restore my life and bring me up again from the deep places of the earth. You strengthen me more and more. You enfold and comfort me. Therefore, I will praise you upon the lyre for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing to you with the harp. O Holy One of Israel, my lips will sing with joy when I play to you, and so will my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness all day long, for they are ashamed and disgraced who sought to do me harm. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Quick break here for... Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son, that he may rule your people righteously and the poor with justice. That the mountains may bring prosperity to the people, and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. 
He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure, endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like showers that water the earth. That's one of my favorite, favorite uh, verses. It's also in a hymn. Hail to the Lord, hail to the Lord, hail to the Lord, the Lord, and his gracious Son. in that hymn. One of my favorite hymns. So I'm going to repeat it. Verse 6. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea. And this, this hymn actually is based upon this entire psalm, actually, I'm seeing now. He shall rule from sea to sea and from the rivers, the ends of the earth. His foes shall bow down before him and his enemies lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and all the isle, and of the isles shall pay tribute, and the kings of Arabia and Saba offer gifts. All kings shall bow down before him, and all the nations, rot, nations do him service. For he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress, and the oppressed who has no helper. He shall have pity on the lowly and poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence, and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Long may he live, and may there be given to him gold from Arabia. May prayer be made for him always, and may they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of grain on the earth, growing thick even on the hilltops. May its fruit flourish like Lebanon, and its grain like grass upon the earth. May his name remain forever and be established as long as the sun endures. May all the nations bless themselves in him and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And may all the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. No doxology there. We'll call that the doxology. comes with sucker speed. Let's go ahead and get the, the hymnal. Hold on. We'll read that we'll read the uh, we'll read that hymn and you'll see how it compares to the song we just prayed. 
It's 616. I was trying to remember the verse, and the Lord just gave it to me right now before we have to open it. Oh, God, he just had me open the hymn 666 right there. Jeez, that's a little weird. Hail to the Lord's anointed, great David's greater son. Hail in the time appointed, his reign on earth begun. He comes to break oppression, to set the captive free, to take away transgression and rule in equity. He comes with succor speedy to those who suffer wrong, to help the poor and needy and bid the weak be strong, to give them songs for sighing, their darkness turned to light, whose souls condemned and dying were precious in his sight. He comes down with he comes down like showers upon the fruitful earth. He shall come down like showers. I was like, there's there's something wrong there with that rhythm. He shall come down like showers upon the fruitful earth, and love, joy, hope like flowers spring in his path to birth. Before him on the mountains shall peace the herald go, and righteousness in fountains from hill to valley flow. Kings shall bow down before him, and gold and incense bring. All nations shall adore him, his praise all people sing. To him shall prayer unceasing and daily vows ascend, his kingdom still increasing, a kingdom without end. O'er every foe victorious, he on his throne shall rest, from age to age more glorious, all blessing and all blessed. The tide of time shall never his covenant remove, his name shall stand forever, his changeless name of love. So we're going to finish this cup of coffee, and we take the medication. I have been wanting to read, this is the alcoholic book of Alcoholics Anonymous. I, don't worry, you're not going to get AA, you actually, you've gotten a lot of AA, you get AA here, AA here every single day, to tell you the truth. You just don't hear it in that, we just don't use the word, the term Alcoholics Anonymous. But no, it's not that I'm, I'm trying to do AA here, even though we do it. But they got some good stories in there. In in the back part where they, they talk about the you know addicts uh, share their experiences. And I keep meaning to read those, but today is not going to be the day. I can already tell. I'm having a nicotine fit right now, even though I have the patch on. up on the doctor yesterday. I don't know if I already mentioned, did I already mention this? I told Ruben earlier. And I would have done it again right now. Because he was a, he's a jerk. Honestly. And I asked him not to do something. I told him that I would hang up on him if he did. And he did it. And I hung up on him. I'm going to find another doctor.
What a beautiful day. Oh, there's birds over there. Wow, looking at pepper here, peppercorns. In one teaspoon, which is a gram, five calories, which is one calorie from fat. I didn't even think there would have been any fat in pepper. Isn't that something? It's, it's HACCP certified, which is Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point. I know about that from working for a caterer for a very short period of time, a long time ago. His name is Steve Davis. If you ever see this, Steve, how you doing? It's been a long time. Down in Southern California. And uh, he was HACCP certified to teach that and stuff like that. In fact, he still does. He lives up in Washington right now. And the last time I checked, which is about six months ago, he's still teaching that stuff. So I hope you're doing all right, Steve. It's been a long time. Hazard analysis critical control point was, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, created by Pillsbury. As a way, as a, it's food safety. It's a way to make sure that uh, you know, like, that you keep like food temperatures, like they stay within the safety range, and ways to keep to make sure that they do. You know, by having like logs and stuff like that, and, and, and checking things. You know, I don't remember honestly. I don't remember much about it. I, I as much as I remember about it is what I'm telling you right now. Um, but I think it was made by Pillsbury, created by Pillsbury. Either that or like Sarah Lee or something. Definitely not Sarah Lee, but it was like one of those companies. I think it was Pillsbury. Sarah Lee. Nobody does it like Sarah Lee. There's our bell. Alexa! Alexa! Cancel! Um, um, um. All right. So we're going to call Greg this morning. Right on the hymnal here. Pen myself there. Pen myself. So we didn't do any noon prayer yesterday. For, so we're going to write 12 o'clock, no service. The reason for that was not because I had a dental appointment. Or not dental appointment, what am I saying? That's the appointment I have lately. The dental um, it's not because of my doctor's appointment. It was because I went to go do the, you know, do it. 
and the, the iPad was unplugged and it was dead. And I had no other way to, to do it easily. I couldn't set up the camera yesterday. And the Lord said to me, fuck it. And I was like, okay, Lord, fuck it. And so we prayed it off, off camera. And I did too. And I was in a bad mood. <laughs> I was like, the angel of the Lord glad I'm here. But we did it. At first I thought he said, fuck it, we don't have to do it. And then he's like, no, we're still doing it. And I was like, all right, let's do it. Let's, let's get it over with. And then I went back to sleep. All right, so 6 p.m. Did we, we did 6 p.m. yesterday, right? And it was fast. Okay. So, what is it called? Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. So it is a service, though, because I did do it yesterday. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. Hold on, so let's fix this here. We're going to fix this the long way. No service on cam. But that's a really weird way to do it, but we'll do it. But Angelus and Lord's Prayer. 12 p.m. 12 p.m. And then 6 p.m. Gratitudes. Prayerless prayers. <laughs> the Lord just had me write a funny G there. I like the way that came out. It was cute. All right. Eight twenty or twenty two. At eight eleven, we're doing eight eleven. I'm putting down the exact time this morning. 11 uh, so we have Angelus Psalm 71 to 72 <coughs> excuse me Ooh, I tasted some eggs there not bad eggs though not like that rotten eggs I was talking about some kind of you know eggs honestly whenever you retaste eggs it, it kind of they kind of taste a little rotten Unless I have something wrong with my gut. All right. Which could be the case. I don't know. I get a lot of stuff wrong. All right. So now two milliliters of naltrexone we're going to do right now. Two milliliters. Oh, wrong, wrong medication. Shit. <sighs> Might as well get the water, actually, while I do this, so.
And at noontime, we might do the whole day out here today. It just might be, you know what I mean? It just might work out. Because I, I sort of like, even though it's pretty much the same thing, I, I, I was about to get irritated. The same thing, like I have a short fuse on this stuff. It's terrible. Um, even though it's pretty much the same thing, it feels a little bit more chill to me. I can just, you know, relax here on the couch. So units of vitamin D3. The medication portion of this morning service is complete. Now we shall begin the logging portion. Two. So, all right, so let me show you these logs. I haven't done a video out here. Like, I did a video out here um, on the floor one time. It's actually, if you look at the Coulter playlist, it's in there. It's me sitting, in fact, in the screen cap, you'll see me up about right here on the floor. A useful log. Excuse me. I might go to the if I can go to the grocery store today. I might do that, and I might buy some baking powder so that way I can make um, pancakes. But I don't know. I don't know at this point how I'm going to be doing at the bottom here. Prayer log, medication log, I'm not going to worry about this stuff right now. I usually clean it up. I'm going to go in and brush teeth. So hold on. You're going to come with me.
light. That was a sound effect, don't worry. That was not real. It was real. People fart. Alright, so we have uh, 8.20 a.m. 42. Uh, 9.15 a.m. Brush. Oh, nope. Because what? Okay, we're going to do mouthwash. Because last night I did not mouthwash. I just did, you know. Alright, so let's do it. I'm honestly excited enough, to, like right now today, to feel well enough to be able to brush my teeth. Because I felt like yesterday was so bad. So let's go ahead and get this prepared. And then after this, I'm not going to go to the grocery store today. I can tell already. I don't feel well enough to do that, unfortunately. But I do feel, I'm do. i going to feel good getting on the couch after this, knowing that I at least brushed my teeth and did everything. And, and then at noon, we'll do noon service right there. Took a nice hot shower last night.
Okay, now, here we go. Ready? I should have brought the towel in here. I went to go get the towel to wipe my face off, and then I left it in there. punchy this morning. Weird. Okay. This is dental floss. We're going to use it right now.
Now, no, usually you'll notice me exercising a little bit more time when I floss. I don't feel that great today, so I didn't. However, one thing I did make sure to do is to get into every proximal area, okay? Every, every, yeah, proximal area, really. And, uh, and I actually went back, like I usually do, in a couple areas, twice. Um, remember to brush your teeth to floss and to say your prayers. And I also want to say thank you, Lord, this morning. Forgive me, even while not feeling well. A moment to eat, pray, and love. To hear the word of God. To pray it. And to share it. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, I love you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. And to say your prayers. I don't know if I said that as the third thing, but like remember to say your prayers. <laughs>